Truckers flooded Washington, D.C. last week. They say the stay-at-home orders are really just hurting their industry. And the impact, they say, could be felt even after things start to open up. Those truck drivers are demanding a change in the rate they get paid to carry a load around the country or around the state. With fewer businesses open, they just have a lot less to ship. And those rates per mile have really fallen off, and it threatens some of those businesses if they don't have enough money coming in. Our Greg Suskin spoke with a local trucker who's dealing with this. And uh, Greg, you say that uh, he's been home for a while now. Yeah, he sure has. Uh, Perry Feaster of Rock Hills, a truck driver down there, hasn't hauled a load in his truck since the last week of March. He says financially, it doesn't make any sense to pull it out of the driveway. My business has been decimated by COVID-19. Perry Feaster uses his truck to haul equipment on a flatbed. But now he's seen the rates plummet because brokers who arrange the shipments between buyer and seller have cut them in half. This essentially uh, has driven rates um, down the drain. I mean, a lot of loads are offering a dollar uh, per mile. The retail numbers for April show part of the issue, down 16% overall, and clothing and accessories, a big part of that, down 89%. The decline in shipping has hit the trucking industry hard, especially small owner operators like Feaster. That's why hundreds of them parked their big rigs in D.C., some for weeks, protesting the rate cuts and demanding transparency about how they're set. I'm proud of those guys. I'm glad that they're standing up uh, for the country. Another trucker who hauls dry goods and frozen food told me smaller companies may not make it. It costs a lot to be out here on the road. Plus, make this on your truck, fuel, other expenses. We, we need more money. All this could lead to higher costs for what we buy or fewer products on store shelves, with some truckers deciding it costs them less to stay home. Early in the protest, President Trump tweeted that he stands with truckers and his staff did meet with them. However, they're still there, still hoping the issue will be addressed. And as far as that issue goes, even though many truckers are trying to band together and say collectively that they won't accept any loads at these new low rates, there are truckers who are doing it, taking that, that less money, saying they simply need to work. Scott? Uh, yeah, they're one of many groups of people being affected. It's all linked together. Thanks, Greg.